All right, let's fire this thing up. Can you bump it into forward so I can gain a little bit on this anchor road? Ah, thanks. That makes it a lot easier. Hey, well, good deal you made it. Hi, I'm John Graviscus, and up in the flybridge, say hello to everybody, Bert. It's Bert Dell, and notice that Bert kind of kind of broke his arm. All right, normally he's the one that's out here getting the ground tackle, and I run the boat. But due to circumstances, I'm doing all the all the heavy labor today, and it's great to have you back aboard the boat with us. What we're on is our 1980 57 foot custom sport fish. And whenever you're anchoring this craft, when you're retrieving the ground tackle, you know, this is a pretty big, heavy boat. You need to have two people, all right? Also, if the anchor and the chain and this road is in deep water, man, it's really heavy to pull it up. Even if it's a, you know, just a couple pound anchor, when it's down deep, it's really, really challenging to kind of get it back into the boat. What we're going to be talking about today here at Shipshape TV is the topic of windlasses. Not only for this boat, but also we have a 25-foot Tierra Pursuit that has a bow pulpit on it. Now, the original windlass on that only lasted a couple of years, okay, and it broke, and we want to kind of upgrade things. Not only will we look at the different windlasses that are available, but we're also going to take a look at some of the machines that you can use in order to address the various finishes on the boat. I'm talking about gel coat or paint or anything like that. Now, once we have an installation done on this boat, as well as the pursuit, we're going to come out in the water and we're going to show you a few tips on how to use the windlass. But guess what? Before we can get into any of this stuff, shoot, you know the drill by now. You see, we need to work out a little trade-off. We've got to get all of you to spend the next 30 minutes with us as we're kind of working and toiling right here along the beautiful water's edge. And then in exchange with, again, the help of a few of my very knowledgeable friends in the marine industry, we're all going to be pooling together in order to do our very best to let you in on a few more ways to make your boat ship shape. Bert, go ahead, bump it into forward. I'll get this in. Oh, man. Thank you. This is heavy. 